Um, so look, I have not. I know nothing about Moon Knight. I've never read the comic. I've never known about the character and so forth. So I'm coming in here cold, and I, and I don't want because I want to just come in here cold. So coming in here cold. Great costume. I even six and the great costume. Weird show, really weird show. But I'll be real with you. The first episode of One Division I found trash. First episode of Loki I found trash. The first episode of um, Falcon and Falcon and Winter Soldier was cool. This I think is the most intrigued I've actually been in any of these shows. I think it's because I'm like it's like oh I generally want to know what's happening. Oscar Isaac is always, always a very good actor, very very good actor. The accent is typical, you know. Oh, you're right, yeah, sure, sure. It's it's a very typical accent that Americans do. Um, actually, you know, one of the guys that does a really good English accent is John John Depp. Like, I think he's probably the best American I know who does really good English accents. Um, John 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 Johnny Depp. But I'm um, not look. I'm not that hung up on accents unless your accent is as bad as Clive Owen's American accents, where it is really noticeable how bad it is. I'm cool. But yeah, I was actually into this. I was actually, I was obviously you know because I didn't have high hopes for Moon Knight because I told you I didn't like Loki. One division was complete gutter trash. Falcon Winter Soldier was was it was cool. It wasn't great, but it was cool. Didn't like the ending, but it was cool. But I think this was I'm like because again it's like oh this is because you're like okay so where I mean look some bits of it do feel cheesy. I just for the Ethan Hawke. So Ethan Hawke actually talks about how. Oh my gosh, MC movies are not real films, you know, they're not proper films and so forth and everything. And look, man, the guy, they 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 cut him a big fat check and look at where he's right now. He's in an he's in an MC movie. Bro, everybody's gonna end up making an MC movie. You you, you can't fight it. Um But yeah, like I I think because I like just how it's like it's building up the suspense. Like, can it sustain the suspense for, for the rest? I don't know. But again, I, I just think I like how all right. He has okay, because again, I don't, I know nothing, so I'm just going in here cold. So obviously, he has a multiple personality disorder, and I think from what I can gather, his his real personality is submerged within this fake persona. So I think that he has just tried to go away from his real persona, but that is fully hidden and submerged. Hence, why when he gets that phone call, they're like, "Bro, why do you have an English accent?" Because he's obviously gone to London. London. And because I think maybe he's from Egypt, I think he's, I think that's where he's from. He's going to London to try to hide and submerge himself into this kind of London society as this dude who works at a museum. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, it's, it's, you see, I'm not too sure what's going on with the, with Ethan Hawke and the tattoo stuff and everything. Like that just seems a bit okay. I don't know what's going on. Like, <clears throat> what I like the most is <clears throat> the, sus- the suspense of it, sort of like, Oh, he's sleeping, waking up in a new place. He loses, like, he shuts down, loses memory, and then he just basically much destroys all these people. So there's that real personality within him is pretty much taking control. So I think it's going to be interesting to see that dichotomy of this frail English dude who's trying to just say, how am I able to do all these things? Whereas, like, his real self is also the guy that's able to say what's up and actually transform into this Moon Knight dude. Um... But yeah, no, look, as far as the first episode goes, I'm, I'm interested. Like, for me, this is... No, the first episode of Falcon Winter Soldier was good. I'm just, I'm actually remembering right now. That was actually really good, especially how, how it ended. That was actually really good. But then it just sort of lost its way, and I didn't really like the, the last episode. Loki and WandaVision horrible. WandaVision is one of the worst TV shows I've ever seen in my life. In terms of just how pointless it was and how crap it's got one division has to rank as one of the worst tv shows i've ever seen in my life. that thing was a piece of crap loki was loki was cool loki was cool i wasn't the biggest fan but it was cool and i liked the last episode the loki's last episode was was really good but you know loki was cool it was cool because it was a bit it was it was a bit strange but it was it wasn't that great so yeah i mean look i mean if they can keep the suspense with this keep it with the facts of i think the the Success of this show is Oscar Isaac and how he fights within his real self and his things like, like that scene where he sees his real self in the mirror and so forth and he allows his real self to take over. I think that was like one of the best scenes. So I think if they can keep on carrying that 
on and it's like a back and forth between his real self and this fake English self, I think that would be the, the core of the show. So yeah, man, I look forward to seeing more of Moon Knight. Not bad, not bad. What did you guys think of Moon Knight? Bada bing.